Hey guys, um, it's me, Christopher Bentley, with my little sister. Um, so today I'm just gonna be showing, um, uh, well, not showing, a review. Um, a review of this Exoterra Cocoa Husk. Um, it seems to be made out of the same thing as the cocoa fiber, the cocoa fiber substrate, uh, the dirt kind. But, uh, this is more in a uh, wood chip form. Um, so, what I like about this, um, is that, I don't know, it's in bigger pieces so that your animals won't swallow it. I find that pretty cool. But, um, it's not really going to stay, stay all that moist. That's the disappointing part. But there is some stringy parts that your animals are going to get inside their mouth. Which, that's what I don't like. Um, let's read what it says. Tropical terrarium substrate. 100% um, natural substrate. Ideal for natural terrarium setups. Increases humidity in terrariums. So I guess it does hold some moisture. Um... Simulates, <laughs> stimulates, <laughs> and, uh, st stimulates natural digging and bur burrowing behavior. Um, <laughs> so this seems way more cleaner and not messy. Amberlin, stop. So there's just a bunch of stuff on the back that I seriously don't feel like reading. Uh, I don't know. You need to eat it. Uh, no. It's too long. So, I really uh, like that. So, yeah. I, I like it. And other times, I don't like it. So, it's a, kind of a love-hate thing right there. Um, uh, I've used... I, I'm using it on my new crested gecko. So, yeah. Me. Amberlin, stop. Oh, yeah, by the way, my phone fell inside my pond. But I don't know how, but it's doing good. I hope the battery doesn't overheat or something and explode on my face. So, bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.